If you wish to lock or encrypt your computer drives in Windows 10 or 11 without using a third-party software, then please follow this tutorial to the end. This is done to prevent unauthorized access to your data or files. This can be done on drive C, D, E or any. So first of all, let's try to lock the drive C. To do that, right-click on the drive and click turn on BitLocker. After that, you can see this error message that says this drive can't use a trusted platform model. To resolve this, let's go to Windows Search and type GPEDIT and click on Edit Group Policy. But in case you type JP Edit and you get an error message like this on your screen, then I've created another video to resolve it, which I'll leave the link in the description below. So with that being said, let's continue. So here the Group Policy Editor window opens. Then click on Administrative Template under Computer Configurations. Then Windows Component. From there, BitLocker Encryption. Then double click on Operating System Drives. Then look for Require Additional Authentication at Startup and double click on it. Now you can see this option has been set to Not Configured. So just set it to Enable. Then click on Apply and OK. After, close the windows and go to the drive you wish to lock. Let's start with my drive C, then after my drive E. So I'll right click on it and click on turn on bit locker. Now you can see the error has suddenly disappeared. Now you can see you are being asked how to unlock your drive C at startup. Before I proceed, please kindly note this. When you encrypt your drive C, which contains your Windows operating system with BitLocker, then anytime your computer is turned on, you may be required to enter the password or PIN before it can boot Windows. I will demonstrate this after the process, so let's continue. So here, choose to enter a PIN or password and enter your desired PIN or password. After click set pin or password. After you'll be asked how you want to back up your recovery key in case you forget your pin or password. So here if you have a Microsoft account, you can link it to your computer and save the recovery key in your Microsoft account instead. Or you can choose to save it on an external device like a USB flash drive or an external drive. Please note that Windows will not allow you to save your recovery key on any of your internal drives. This will give you an error message. So I will save it on my USB flash drive instead. Also you can print it on a sheet of paper for reference purposes. Next you'll be asked how much of your drive to encrypt. Option 1 encrypts use disk space only. Or option 2 encrypt the entire drive. What option 1 means is that BitLocker will lock the area where the current files or data are stored only. And this encryption process will be faster compared to the second option where BitLocker has to encrypt the whole drive and this will take quite some time due to the partition size of the drive. This also means that every new file or data added to the drive will automatically be encrypted. So here it's up to you to decide. I will choose option 1 and click next. The next option is to choose the encryption mode. Option 1 is new encryption mode, best for fixed drives on this device. And compatible mode, best for drives that can be moved from this device. So here, if you do not have intention of moving the drive from one computer to another, then I will suggest you choose new encryption mode and click next. Here, I will suggest you leave this option ticked to run BitLocker system check. After click continue to start the encryption process. This will require a system restart to conclude the process, so I will suggest you restart your PC. After restart, you can see the computer may require for the BitLocker pin before booting to Windows. This may prevent unauthorized users from having access to your files. 
So here I'll enter the pin to boot the computer to Windows. Now you can see the computer is at Windows. Now let's lock the other drive E. To do that, right click on the drive and click turn on BitLocker and enter your desired password. Choose any of the options that best fits your criteria and click next. Choose how much of your data you want to encrypt and click next. After, select the encryption mode and click next. Finally, click start encrypting. Then you are done. After, restart your PC for the changes to be effected. Now, let's check if the drive is really encrypted. Yes, it is. Congratulations. Let me open and see if it asks for a password. Yes, it's asking for a password. Now, let's disable or remove the BitLocker password. To do that, you first have to open the drive and enter the required password. So, double click and enter the password. And click unlock. After unlocking the drive, you can see the lock icon is still on. So, to remove, right click on it and click manage BitLocker. So, on this page, you can see BitLocker is on and a whole lot of options such as back up your recovery key, change password, remove password, add smart card, turn on auto unlock and turn off BitLocker. So here, just click on turn off BitLocker and confirm again. After that, you can see BitLocker is off. Now, let me check the drive again and you can see the BitLocker is removed from the drive. So, this is the easiest way to remove BitLocker encryption from your Windows 10 or 11. If you got value from this, please give me a like and subscribe for more amazing tutorial. Thanks for watching, have a wonderful evening and I will see you in the next one.